Use pictures and subtraction to compare. Lesson 2.5. We can use pictures to compare numbers and subtract. When we compare, we see how they are the same or how they are different. There are five dogs. There are three bones. How many more dogs need a bone? We can draw a line to match them. This dog would get this bone. This dog could get this bone. This dog could get this bone. But look, we have one, two dogs, too many. We could also say we have two bones, too few. Like we're missing two bones. How many fewer bones are there than dogs? Two. We need two more, don't we? Fewer bones. There are four dogs. There are seven bones. Oh, now we have lots of bones. How many bones are not needed? This dog can get this bone. This dog can get this bone. We can match this dog to that bone and this dog to this bone. And now look, we have one, two, three bones left over. We have three bones that are not needed. Maybe we could give those bones to those dogs, huh? There are three horses, there are two apples. How many more horses are there than apples? This horse can get this apple. This horse can have that apple. Oh, that poor horse doesn't get an apple. How many more horses are there than apples? There's one more horse. One more. We can compare the groups and subtract to show how many more or fewer. We have one, two, three, four, five cookies. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight children. We can draw lines to match the cookies to the children. One, two, three children are not going to get a cookie. Eight children minus five cookies equals three children not getting a cookie. How many fewer cookies are there? There's three fewer. There's three fewer cookies than there are children. The drawings or pictures show the answers because we can see how many match each other. We can see how many are left. There's three children left, so there were three fewer cookies. Bob has four white shirts and five blue shirts. Dave has seven shirts. How many more shirts does Bob have than Dave? What do we need to find? We need to find how many more shirts Bob has. It's asking, how many more shirts does Bob have than Dave? What information do we need to use? We need to use the information that Bob has four white shirts and five blue shirts. We can add these together. Four plus five is nine. It tells us Dave has seven shirts. How many more shirts does Bob have? Nine minus seven is equal to, do you know? Two. Bob has two more shirts. We can write a subtraction sentence. Emma read six books. Tala read nine books. How many fewer books did Emma read? Emma read six books. Tala read nine books. We put Tala's books here. 
and we take away the books that Emma did read, minus 6, and 9 minus 6 is equal to 3. Emma read 3 fewer books. If she reads three more books, then she'll have read nine books also, and they'll be the same. One apple is fewer than two apples. So fewer means a smaller amount. Our next lesson is going to be subtract to compare, lesson 2.6. This chapter is all about subtracting and writing subtracting sentences and methods and ways we can subtract. Keep trying. I'm proud of you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.